How's it going? It's going. Uh, it's been a pretty busy, what, month and a half since we last did this? What's happened since uh, the last call? Give the, give the viewers and audience a little recap. Well, since Cooper just kind of uh, posted it, there is new Did I Hear Dare music in the works. Uh, we saw each other in person. And that, I feel like that was a major highlight, yeah, like you said, of the past month. Uh, prior to that, and I think after our previous call, we got on a band call to kind of discuss certain demos that we all brought together and shared with each other. And then on the call, we listened through like five or six songs. We all ranked them as a band and then chose to prioritize and focus on three to four. And uh, yeah, we're going to try to make some music remotely uh, and keep the dream alive. And I'm very excited. During probably the entire run of the first Workshop Wednesdays, that was happening in the background. I think the last Workshop Wednesday was before me, like right before me having COVID. I'm pretty sure I just cut my face short by three. Like, I'm pretty sure I took a section. I'd already filmed all of my music for that and everything. And so I was like, well, all right, I'm definitely not going to be in the shape to do anything else. The last time we spoke, I talked about how I wanted to kind of refocus, you know, make sure that I didn't forget about the theater stuff. And, and that wasn't for lack of trying. That was more time management, the amount of opportunity since COVID. And so I auditioned for a show last night. Callbacks are Wednesday. We'll see how it goes. But my outlook is, uh, if nothing comes of this, this was my, you know, first time getting back into it. And so I'm just happy that I'm doing it. I already know a few other shows that have auditions in the next few weeks. So if I don't get this, I'm hitting the grind. But that's something that was really important to me that I'm glad I'm I'm looking to do. This audition was for a, is for a production of Into the Woods, a show that... Uh, I was mm. in, but never happened. And so um, there's just a beauty of that being my first foray back in. Phase one, you know, in the rear view mirror, uh, like the format, it was maybe a little long. Like, I, I feel like the the way of doing a phase, like, I, I really did like four, almost five months. Main goals here... And I I told Anthony about this a bit on a call is is like phase one, all of my featured Fridays were past works that I've done. Phase two, I'm hoping to finish off my catalog of previous works, but hopefully add to them. The yellow songs are ones I've already filmed. I'm getting (laughs) better at getting the colors right and doing all that and mixing the audio. And then another, you know, key project that I've been working on is is the fourth episode of the documentary as well I don't have those SSDs hooked up right now but we all know the gist I have three scripts this season including lemons that I want to have recordings to do like a audio version or a animatic type thing that is awesome I'm Uh, excited for phase two when does it kick off I saw, I see August, but we'll see. Um, (laughs) By the time you're watching this video. But yeah, I think my main goals are hoping I get a call back and and carry that through. Um, I think make sure phase two is prepared enough to launch it because I also have to think ahead. If I'm rehearsing five Mm. days a week, I got to make sure. And that's why. Honestly, the shorter phase is better for me because I know it's attainable. I've recorded all of the music that is in front of the curtain, at least maybe a few others. I'd also love to possibly work on some more music for our ongoing life project. Yeah, I just want to do more that I can add to the website and to my featured Friday. Like, my mental space is changing that featured Friday I want to fill that up with thing, new things that I do. That's kind of the goal is like the philosophy of I want to do 
new things.